this is the tutorial for the safety event. At the beginning of the event, the team members will walk up to the platform and they will be given four minutes to set up the equipment in any way they would like. And once the four minutes is up, then they will start the event. All right, the team starts the event. And the first thing that has to happen is a team member must call 911 to notify they have a coworker down. They then will grab a confined space meter to test the gas in the confined space. As the other team members start to set up the safety rescue equipment of the tripod, you will see the other team members putting their harnesses on, getting the lifelines ready. They're extending the legs on the tripod to the sixth pin position to have adequate height for entry into the confined space. They're getting the confined space blower ready and prepping that. After the gases have been checked and verified, they will notify the crew that it's safe to enter the confined space. The safety tripod is then placed over the manhole and they will start to put the equipment on there. You have the fall protection that's hanging on the eye bolt down the middle, the winch, and the three-way winch and fall protection combination unit. They are pulling the cable out for the winch and threading it over the pulleys over the top of the tripod and pinning it in place. The fall protection is now being clipped to the team member that is removing the cover and the blower is being inserted. The person pulling the cover must be the first person that is connected to the fall protection and must be connected and the tripod must be assembled before they make entry. As the first team member goes down the ladder, they must use three points of contact and they must use every rung. Immediately upon reaching the bottom, they will disconnect from the fall protection but maintain being connected to the lifeline and then attend to the victim. The victim must be attended to first before any other actions are taken in the confined space area. All right, the harness is being placed on the victim. The other team member has brought the tools down for the repair of the check valve and is being taken over to be set in place. The team member is notifying the other team member that they are ready and they will carry the victim over to underneath the manhole so the victim can be winched up. There must be a two team member carry and no part of the victim should touch the floor on the carry. Once connected to the winch, the team members up top will start to bring the victim out and the team member down below will make sure to maintain control of that victim until their head breaks the plane of the platform. The two team members will then do a two-man carry of the victim over to the decontamination area where they will place the victim in the chair and activate the shower. As the victim is being raised up, the other team member has started the work on the lockout of the valves to do the repair on the check valve. Closing the valves and then place in the bonnet on the valve, locking out with a hasp and a lock with a signed safety tag. Once the victim has been raised to the platform, the other team member comes over to assist, placing their lock on the hasp that's already been added to the bonnet. The two team members 
with their tool bag, we'll start to open up the check valve to do the repair. And both team members must be involved in the repair. The second team member has to do at least one bolt. They are removing the old gasket and flapper and installing a new one, making sure that it's installed correctly. They're replacing the cap and tightening the bolts back down. The tools are added back to the bag and now they can unlock their locks. They will remove the clamshells, they will place it back in the bag, and they will open the valves to put the line back in service. They will let the team members above know that they are ready, that the tools will be lifted back out of the confined space. And during this time, no team member should be on the ladder when the tools are being raised or at any time being lowered into the confined space. First team member is out and will disconnect from the fall protection. He'll send the fall protection down. The other team member will hook up, as you must always be hooked up to fall protection while going up or down the ladder into the confined space. The cover is being replaced by the team member that is hooked up to fall protection. Once the cover has been placed, they can start to disassemble the tripod, removing the equipment. The cover must be back in place before any action of disassemble, disassembling the tripod happens. Now, they will break down the equipment, bringing the legs back up, to the full closed position, closing the tripod, placing all used equipment into the setup area across the line. No equipment should be touching the line at the end of the event. The tool bag, rope, and the lifeline should be removed from the railing, and the lifeline should be put back on the hook. The ladder must also be placed back on the hooks. The safety chain on the tripod must be fully extended back to the starting position and the team will end and call stop. And now let's watch that at full speed. Ready, set, go! Now we have to go work now.
Four minutes. Thank you for watching the safety event tutorial. For any questions or further information, please refer to the Operations Challenge resource page.